Well, thanks for coming, guys. Uh, always exciting time of year. Uh, headed into fall camp, one of my favorite times of the year of getting three, four weeks with these guys to, to be all about ball and getting continuing to improve. Um, I'm excited about uh, seeing these new players for the first time, uh, the additions we've made through the recruiting, and, and uh, that group gives us some depth and hopefully continues to create competition at each position, which I think we've done over the last, last year and a half. You know, year two, uh, a whole lot of things feel better. Uh, watching these guys develop in the weight room, having some continuity on our staff, nine and ten guys coming back for their second year. And so reiterating some of the scheme we're running, but knowing these players even better, the players themselves knowing the coaches into year two, just very optimistic of the progress that we've made so far. And I know we got still work to do pushing into this season. You know, I look at us offensively, excited about the crew we got coming back. We got some production from last year. A lot of guys have made some plays and did some things for us. And starting really with the backfield, the depth we've created in the quarterback position, got some running back, a couple of receivers that have done some things, and we've added some additions there. And then the offensive line piece feel like they're going to take another step. Tight end rooms all, all back. I look at us defensively, need to improve from uh, last year, and I think we've done some things to, to make that happen. Starting with some new additions that can help us at the line of scrimmage and tackle some people. I look at a lot of the young players, watch that tape from 2018 a bunch, and seeing those young guys out there do some good things, but also needed to improve, and I'm anxious to see the steps they've made over, uh, over a year and, and the prog progress there. And then I think looking at our scheme too, making a couple of tweaks to put these guys in great positions. So I'm just feeling confident we're gonna make some huge strides on that side of the ball. And, and we definitely got to get started with some good work here over the, the next three or four weeks. So again, appreciate you coming. And I'll take some questions. Uh, Jonathan, so who, who, is a, who is not gonna be available to start a camp or who might be kind of limited? Right. Um, we, got, we had a couple guys get injured in the spring. Those guys are still at Mikey and uh, Montabon. Uh, really, the, the only one for day one tomorrow, Bradford will be in a limited fashion. He uh, had a great summer. We're just going to be super careful with him early on in camp. What's it? It's to his foot. And then Gums, is he? Is he... He'll be practicing. Yeah, we're going to ease him into it, but he'll be practicing. Outside of from the spring, do you anticipate any other position changes? Um... Not totally, you know, we're gonna, Jack Coletto's gonna uh, do some things at linebacker. He'll still probably get a few reps at quarterback, but Coletto doing a little of it at linebacker. Um, trying to, Jalen Bush moved to, from D-line to O-line, uh, but nothing, nothing to the start of camp that wasn't going on in the spring. And then, were you going to look at any of the outside linebackers going to inside at all, or, or is that? Um, is you that... know, we, Togo got some reps inside actually toward the end of the, end of the spring, and so we'll explore that again a little bit. Because you're right, we got some depth at, at that position. Coach, obviously, you know, with, within the context of a lot of rebuilds, it's it's a lot of freshmen and sophomores, and you, you build the class through the four years. This is a little bit different complexion-wise, given the amount of, of juniors you have, seniors, transfers that are coming back. So how does that change the trajectory of what you want this team to be in year two? Yeah, you know, we did get – we took some transfers. I will say majority of them do have three years to play. I think uh, – I saw one stat, and I, I know our roster. I think we might have as many sophomores as anybody in the conference. Um, and so I'm excited about what we can do over the next couple of years. I, we took year one, like you said, to establish some things, took a lot of freshmen, uh, and then just have a better idea after year one what our immediate needs were, and I think we addressed those with a couple junior college defensive linemen and, uh, and the old linemen from, from Arizona, Nathan Eldridge. Um, Coach, I know on the offseason, the defensive staff went down to LSU and, and worked with the defensive staff and Dave Aranda. What kind of things did they bring back? They brought back a good amount. You know, it, it started as a, a three-four scheme, which is we do a lot of, but not exclusively. And I think each position coach came back with a, a better way of teaching things or a new idea. Um, and they weren't that, that wasn't the only trip that those guys did. They talked to a couple other coaches, um, just looking at scheme and a better way of doing things. And so I appreciated those guys diving into it, implemented some of it in the spring, and and continuing here in the fall. How about the addition then of Blue Adams and what he's brought? Uh, great energy. I think the guy's a great teacher. Um, I think the, that position group uh, really likes him and respects him. Uh, they play with great effort for him, and so he's been awesome. Jonathan, I know you have a lot of depth at wide receiver, but Anthony Gould was here in the spring, and uh, I think he did some work on punt returns. Do you see him maybe contributing this season? And how, what's he looked like so right. far? I thought he looked, uh, we were impressed with him in the spring. 
uh, especially for a, a younger a high school kid coming in, and he was able to play inside and outside. The guy is sharp. He's really competitive. We do feel like he's got a chance to be a punt returner at some point. Um, and that's what fall camp is to kind of find out. He's going to get a bunch of reps, and, and we'll know how much he's going to contribute toward the end of fall camp. Hi, Coach. Uh, my name is Alex Luther. I'm the Orange Media Network Sports Editor. So one question is, so what are your strategies for, ma for maintaining the offensive strength that we were starting to build on last year? And um, how are you hoping to develop our defensive power as the season starts? Right. You know, uh, you look at us offensively, we wanted to establish an identity on kind of what we're, what we're all about and the way we run the ball and then how that complements in the passing game. We want to take a step in year two to build on that. Um, you'll see some similar schemes, and we'll continue to improve on it. We're always trying to adapt. I just think Brian Lindgren and that staff does a great job offensively. And, and like you said, we got some veterans coming back to, to expand the playbook a little bit. And then defensively, again, it's just the, the pieces of new additions that are immediate ready to play, the young guys that need to take a step from year one to year two, which I'm confident they'll do, and looking at ways to just tweak the scheme a little bit. And then what would you say is a really realistic goal for this season? I want to see us play – improved football from game one to game 12 and I, I think it's realistic to watch us and and see us compete down in and down out and and compete for four quarters coach you know a lot of your players will spend the summer in the weight room be out on the field getting sharp staying sharp i mean from from a coaching perspective how have you stayed sharp have you talked to any other coaches gone to any other schools seen anything film wise schematically that's that's changed how you view things going into this year you know yeah we Every off season and really starts in January, you're always looking at different ways of doing it, talking to different coaches. Maybe you're going to visit them. The one thing that takes place a ton is now recruiting. You'll be bumping into coaches and you'll be whatever seeing athletes, but there's a ton of time where you're sitting there talking and, and getting new ideas. May and June, we traveled. I didn't travel in May, but in June, I did get around some satellite camps, had some conversations. I mean, shoot, even last week, Pac-12 Media Days, having lunch with other head coaches, asking some questions on how they're doing it. We were trading some ideas there. So it's really the entire off season. You're looking for new ways of doing stuff. Any uh, noticeable tweaks to how you're going to do practice this preseason versus last year? Not, I don't think noticeable. You know, we're going to go in the afternoons. Uh, the day-to-day and -day fall camp will be similar. We'll have some meetings in the morning, do a walkthrough, and then practice in the afternoon. You've probably, I assume you've probably seen most of these guys in the last week. Um, who looks noticeably different? Yeah. Physically. You know, hey guys, a bunch of them. I look at uh, John McCartan. His body's completely different than what he was when he was playing as a true freshman outside linebacker. Uh, Jamar had a great offseason. Uh, it's tough to just point out individuals. Luton had a great summer in regards to his body. I thought that whole quarterback room took a step. Um, feel good a little bit. Some of the weight loss that took place. Gus is probably in the best shape of his career that he did in the summer. So uh, there's a bunch of guys. Coach Steve from Fox Sports, Eugene, what's the health status of your offensive line going into camp, and what do you need to see from them moving forward to take it to the next level? Right. Health status is really good. All those guys have been shaped and working out. Um, we feel confident that uh, shoot, we're bringing 18 old linemen to camp, and really we're counting on all 18 ready to go for practice one. I think the step they need to take is, to, again, we got to find the best five guys for this fall camp. And we got an idea through spring, but we're going to continue to let them compete. Um, we want to make the game physical, and we want to be able to run the ball, and it, and it starts up front. Coach, can you talk, speaking of the offensive line, uh, Brandon Kipper, his potential and upside? Yeah, excited about Brandon. You know, great, that redshirt rule, being able to play in four games, we took advantage of with him. Um, he's got some athleticism to him to be able to play tackle. He's gained a little bit of weight. Um, and so, yeah, he, he's got a chance to be really good. And, again, he'll be a sophomore with three years to play. Coach, obviously, year one when it comes to the playbook is probably a little bit more bare bones than it is in, in year two, three, and four. How much of the playbook is going to be opened up this year between you and Coach Lindgren, and, and how much more in terms of play calling do you think you guys will have with this many consistent starters back? We'll have – I don't know if we would say we'd have more. It might be just a little bit different. Some of that comes from just a year of experience with the player and what they do well, starting with the quarterback, You know what those guys are confident with and, and comfortable feel like they can execute at a high level, so it might be a little bit different. I wouldn't say our overall volume is going to be a whole lot more. It'd just be more specific. Coach, a lot of the players are talking about urgency, and they have the urgency wristbands on. What does that mean to you? Well, I just think you got to have some urgency, in, again, going into any season. But now this is an opportunity to take a step from year one to year two here 
And uh, we've got some ground to make up in regards to having urgency to get in, diving into that task. I'm excited about our guys diving into it. Um, running back, you guys, I mean, you have Jamar, you have AP, and then BJ really kind of stepped up and Calvin mm -hmm. coming back. How do you utilize all that talent? Well, we want to keep them fresh. And so having a little bit of depth in that room, to me, is a, a huge benefit. Um, obviously, you know, Jamar had the big year and he's had a great off season, but you, you're right. We got some depth and each of those guys are a little bit unique in what they can do. Like even like BJ, he did have a, a really good spring. He was pretty good in pass protection last year, not just being able to block a guy, but identify what was going on. And so we want to use all those guys' skill sets and, and keep that room fresh as possible. Do you feel like you're ahead of the game going in like than you were last year? And if so, I mean, you got all these guys back. Do you break it down as to how much you will focus on Oklahoma State versus how long you took to just last get year. everything in base-wise last year? I feel like we are ahead, obviously, just the being into year two and knowing these guys and then, and then knowing their skills even better. Um, we won't approach it much different. We'll start honing in on Oklahoma State about a week and a half before that game. Again, at fall camp, starting with the fundamentals, reestablishing a culture and a work ethic and competitiveness and practice. Um, getting our base schemes in, and then as we get closer, we'll focus in on them. Conversation through a lot of the spring was Jake bringing it to another level at that quarterback position. Is, is that his position to lose right now going into fall camp? You know, both those guys had great summers, and, and Jake did. He's continued his offseason starting in January, and it continued all the way here through July. Um, Jake did have a good spring. We really liked the step he took. But I'm anxious to see Tristan here. You know, those 15 days of practice for Tristan and now the opportunity to, to make a nice jump, he's going to get here in the first couple of weeks of camp. Any thoughts on the conference? Just what do you got facing coming up this year? Well, it's, it's uh, competitive. It's exciting. You know, I think each team, uh, it's the college football in general, but each team has some questions and each team's got some guys coming back. Um, I, do, I do think the Pac-12 North is going to be really strong. Just looking at starting with the players that are coming back in the league, the coaches that are in the league. And so we got our work cut out for us, which we kind of want. That's what we wanted, you know, to have the challenge of, of beating some good people and competing against them. Any other questions? Um, I know this could change once you get into practice, but just from what you've seen from the freshmen walking around and working out, mm -hmm. Any of them stick out to you maturity-wise or physicality-wise that could play right away? Right. You know, I think all of them kind of stick out to us because we that's why we recruited them. Um, it's a little early to tell without uh, kind of seeing them and working with them on the day-to-day -day in practice. I know we're really excited about the group, really the diversity of the positions we got and just adding depth about every room. And so we'll, we'll time will tell over the first couple of weeks. Anything else? Thanks, okay. Coach. Thanks, guys. <laughs>